just uh, thinking back on uh, how the season started. Um, I remember the days being really warm at first. They were like in the 70s. And uh, like the first day was like 73 that I was able to get out. Um, so I think the second day I got out was like maybe low 70s. As it progressed, got down into the 60s and then um, we finally got some cooler temperatures, but then we were dealing with a lot of rain and high winds. The winds at some point seemed to be as much as like 30 mile an hour wind gusts. I uh, wasn't seeing much activity then. Uh, we did get a little bit of snowfall, um, a little bit of sleet. Um, and that sleet was actually really, really cool. I did see a lot of deer that day. Um, Halloween came, um, it was right around that week where finally started seeing uh, some deer activity in the middle of the day. Uh, some smaller bucks were just kicking does up all over the place. Um, a lot of small, you know, small spikes, um, maybe a four point, six point, things like that. Uh, they pushed the deer through um, all day long. Um, but I originally was on a thicket out where I normally hunt and there's usually um, a nice trail that goes right underneath my tree stand. I just uh, it didn't look very prominent this year as far as the um, the trail goes and so as the leaves started coming off the trees behind me I could hear deer running through the um, through the woods. I couldn't see them they're out of sight but nothing was coming out in front of me so I decided to move I moved back about 60 yards into the woods, and then um, it was a nice spot. I, like I said, does were coming down off the hill right underneath me. Um, it was all looking good. And then as time progressed, I started grunting, and I noticed the bucks were coming from behind me, um, right along the edge of the thicket. and. <clears throat> I, I would say there's like two or three different bucks that popped out. Uh, the one I shot came out that morning, and he he stayed back there, um, raking a tree, grunting, uh, things like that. He didn't he didn't come out. So at that point, I decided to move back. I moved back um, in the woods, probably maybe another 60 yards. <clears throat> found a trail that was leading right on the edge of that thicket. So. I decided to put my stand up in a uh, pine tree here and make a mock scrape. Drop like, um, like I said, just a couple drops of scent in there, and then finally um, started seeing some activity up close. So uh, again, it was warm to start with, um, and then snow. And like we always said, November eighth, uh, trick or you know, trick or treating day is usually my day. Um, Halloween, um, seen some does, small bucks, but nothing, uh, nothing to shoot at. And then uh, November eighth is when um, I had all the activity.
So I took the shot. I think I seen him crash over here. Just before that buck came through, my arrow slid off the branches onto the ground. And five seconds later, that deer come right to me. So, I'm gonna take a look real quick, but... It didn't penetrate all the way through. So, there's not gonna be any blood. Let's see if I can find it. standing right there. I think it's a doe. But it's right about where that deer crashed. So I'm just going to back out a little bit. Make sure Okay, back at my tree stand. Found the broadhead, found the arrow. Uh, a little bit of it broke off in there. As far as penetration, right through up to about there, so that much is what we've seen sticking out of his back. That much went in, so um, 
like I said, made a scrape, mock scrape, about 10 yards in front of the stand here. And put like one drop of code red in there. I don't, I don't go crazy with it, just enough to make them curious, make them hunt for it. Um, the crazy thing is, like I explained in the video, I had my arrows laying up on the pine tree up here. And I had one pulled out of my quiver, just in case I needed to get a second shot. I always set it up there so I could grab it real quick. My arrow was sitting there. A um, small legal buck came through. And right after he left, my arrow slid off, off these branches up here and hit the stuff down here. Made a noise. That buck... I don't know if he heard it or if he was coming anyway, but he was on a string from where he was when I first seen him to this scrape. Um, I think he could smell maybe that other buck that was in here just a little bit ago. And um, he was right on it. So anyway, he come up to the mock scrape. Um, he could He could obviously get that scent. But then he started acting a little nervous. I had the 360 camera on a small tripod hidden by some logs and he just knew something wasn't right. I guess it's like anything. If we walk through our living room or bedroom, we know when something's out of place, but he was, uh, he was looking at that thing and he just didn't understand what it was. So he's getting a little nervous, stomping his feet. Uh, he put his head down. I had a slight angle on him. I figured if I shot over the right shoulder, um, we do good. Don't like seeing arrows sticking out of deer, obviously. I was kind of, uh, kind of nervous to be honest, but that thing ran away with the arrow sticking out of them. But like I said, he went 50, maybe 60 yards, uh, stood up there along the tall grass, um, and then just fell over. Like I said, the crazy thing is when I started walking towards where I seen the deer fall, thinking, okay, he's down. I seen four or five different deer in that same tall grass um, coming through the corner of the field. And I just didn't know if one of, one of those were him. It was getting dark. I couldn't see. So I waited. Um, a couple of the deer went by me. One was a small spike. Um, and a couple dough. So then I just kind of made my way back in there and um, right at last light, um, too dark for video cameras, uh, there he was laying there. So um, Arrow was um, not in him at the time. So I came back, found it. Um, that closes this out. Nice deer. He had two broken tines. Um, I don't remember seeing that deer before. Um, I seen him earlier in the morning. He, I was about 70 yards that way. Um, he came in when I was grunting, come in through and then, uh, hung up in this thick stuff over on this side and he wouldn't come out, but he was just smashing a tree, grunting, things like that. So I decided to come back a little bit and Move back here, um, seen a trail where it goes into this thick stuff, and it just worked out. Um, popped up right in front of it, threw that scrape up, and that was it. But like I said, he had two broken tines. He was looking for a fight. He was old, gray. Um, I'll pop some pictures up here. Sorry, I couldn't get the uh, retrieve on camera, but we got him later that night. and. Like I said, this is almost a week later that I came back. Um, see if I can find my arrow. A little time off from work today, so found it.